All right, here we are. We're back with the ET48 2.0 build. Um, this will complete bag I, which is a steering assembly. Let's get started. Um, so the first comment I would make is there's two options for the steering portion. There's this solid option. And then there's the, this assembly, which has a servo saver built into it. And, you know, it, it's a tuning option, how tight you make the servo saver spring, or if you go with the full rigid. But the Truggies generate such high loads with the wide arms and big tires. Um, I think the only way for me to go here is with this servo saver. Um, just to me makes sense. Um, I don't want to risk um, blowing up my servo. Um, but you can like typically you would want typically you'd want a rigid servo saver when you have super high traction tracks because then they can cause you to deflect this servo saver. So just think about that. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna put this servo saver together. Um, you can see there's like this gate in here and it goes into there. So you put that in and then you put this barrel and that nut slides right in there. Um, and then you put this spring on and I can tell you that sometimes, you know, this spring is longer than this nut. And sometimes it can be tough and you might need to, like, get a pair of pliers and compress the spring a little. So, yeah, I'll try it without the pliers crunching that spring first. Um, so then you have this nut that holds it all together and you want to put this O-ring and there's a little ridge inside of this nut and you want to slide that o-ring hopefully you can see that right in there um, and then to make your life easy i put just a little bit of the, any of the supplied shock oil and just lubricate that nut a little bit with the shock oil maybe wipe off the excess so then you put that, and you know, the nice thing about most kits, this is just a knurled nut, which can make it really difficult to install, but Techno, they made it to where your wheel wrench actually fits on there, which is super nice. Assuming I can get it started. Come on. There we go. So yeah, once you get it started, then you can just bring this wheel wrench in. And it's what the manual tells you to do, is it, you tighten this nut all the way down so this spring is fully compressed and then they're saying to back it off two turns, two full turns. Um, again, this is a preference setting and I'm going to have mine just, a, I'm going to do one full turn instead of two. So we just keep on. Turn this thing. All right, so we got the spring fully compressed and then we'll just back it off one full turn. I can see a little bit of shock oil still on there, so we'll just clean that off. So yeah, there we go. That's all in there. 
All right, so finishing off this steering rack. Um, we got this thing tightened all down. And so the next thing here would be to put this rack on. And it, of note, it's a tuning option. You can flip it either way. Um, and this allows you to tune the Ackerman of the car. Um, for my build, I'm putting it this way, which is also the way the kit setup is. And I'm using the middle hole, which is as well the kit setup. So no changes there. So we put these littler bearings in both of these. Like so. And this is going to go together like this with the servo saver side on the right of the car. And this is going to go on top. Um, and we're going to use these little screws to put it together. Um, and these are using a two millimeter and we're going to get some thread lock on there. Not a ton of thread lock on these. I don't like to use a lot because it can muck up the bearings. Okay, so we're going to put this plate on top now. And this screw I put the thread lock on. I'm going to thread that through. And I'm going to push that, I think. Yep, so we just work this screw on like so. And then seven millimeter socket for this back side. Get that nice and tight and then just check to make sure this is smooth. If it's not like this, you can actually feel there's enough slop in there where you can tighten it tight. But if it is binding, you either need to look what's going on or potentially just back this screw off just a tad and the thread lock will hold it in place. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing again on this one. A little bit of thread lock. On there. that down okay and then just make yep everything's nice and free so we're good there um, yeah so I'm gonna they show putting these bearings in but they can be kind of irritating and fall out so I'm going to leave those out for now until we're ready to put them in the car. Um, so the next thing we want to do here is installing these steering links and the kit so that you can install washers underneath this and also at the, uh, um, at the hub end, the wheel end. And um, anyway, the, the stock settings for this are four washers, of which, you know, this is a tuning option, but I'm also going to do four for this setup I'm doing. And 
So you put those washers on and we're doing the middle hole and just make sure you get these links oriented correctly as well. So the front of the car and this link goes that direction and same on the other side of it. And make sure you get this notch pointed the same way as your camber links. So for me, the notch points to the right. The kit setup, they have it pointing to the left. So whichever you prefer. Feed this screw through four washers. Like so, and you know, if you have bump steer or don't have it and want it, you can tune with these washers to, to tune that out. Um, and what I mean by bump steer is when the steering compresses, or sorry, the suspension compresses, you'll actually see the steering move. And typically, I do not care for bump steer, so I typically try to tune all that out. I just find the car is, for me, more consistent that way. Oh, it would help if I had the right nut driver. 5.5 millimeter, not the 7 gun. Okay. Okay, so that concludes bag I of this build. Um, like I mentioned before, I'll put these uh, bearings in once I put it on the car, so I'm just going to set them aside for now. And, um, you know, I hope you found this video useful, and please like and subscribe if you did.